fastest mode of travels but if we I mean if you see the total journey then its journey time is divided into two part one is the process time in a terminal building and second is the time in travel and air travel times and if we see this if we see these two times means the process time spent in airport terminal building is significantly more than uh, process uh, means air travel times so if you decreasing this process time in terminal building that ultimately we are decreasing the total journey times and ultimately <coughs> we are making more efficient of this air travels and and in perspective of the passenger this is also beneficial means we are decreasing their journey times and also in in perspective of the business of uh, uh, airport uh, operators airport operators the means if you are uh, making the passengers spending lesser time in terminal building then we are uh, uh, means in increasing the capacity of that terminal building and ultimately this is proportional to their economic so how the question is how we decrease this uh, process time in terminal buildings so this is directly depend on level of service so if you improving the every aspect of level of ser service of terminal building then ultimately we are decreasing the process time in terminal buildings so uh, level of service is nothing but this combination of the three parameters flow delay and comfortable means if we providing the smooth flow means there is a no accumulation of the passenger at any zone of the terminal buildings that mean the flow is smooth and if we are no if we are if we are providing no queuing timing then we are not providing the the delay and in every process in in every process of departure or activity if the passenger is feel comfortable then we are saying that we are providing the good level of service and <coughs> means uh, and we are name as level of service a so means level of service is classified from a to s on the base good to bad combination of these three parameters flow delay and comforts so so we uh, quantify this uh, level of service into two uh, quantitative factor one is temporal factor which is account the process time or delay or total dwell, dwell time or at that particular zone or second is a special factor which is flow means uh, flow means th there is any accumulation of the passenger at any instant or an at at any time at a particular zone of airport terminal buildings and com uh, in case of com um, comforts means kapil sina is uh, earlier discuss about the means uh, thermal comfort means on the basis of passenger occupancy how much thermal ener energy we have to means cooling load we have to provide to the passengers so this is already discussed so today we have means i have two objectives uh, using analogic evaluate the dynamics of passenger occupancy at check in zone of terminal building for different level of service and second is estimate and compare and pas the passenger density profile and waiting time through agent based modeling so we uh, here we have two input parameters one is service time and second is uh, number of service counter if we increasing the service time and decreasing the number of service uh, point then ultimately we are uh, uh, if we increasing the service time and decreasing the number of service points then ultimately we are uh, decreasing the grade of level of service and uh, for getting the particular class of level of service we have two parameter two output par parameter passenger density and passenger waiting times or the corresponding to this is uh, this parameter we have a standard so on the basis of that standard we are we will classify that this service corresponding to this service time and number of service point this service follow uh, the, this class of the level of service so the assessment of level of service or assessment of the building performance we have four airport one is visakhapatnam which is already discussed by kapil sinha and this is and uh, other is chennai, chennai airport third one is uh, bhuvaneswar airport and fourth one is kolkata airport so this is the uh, uh, means departures uh, special layout of uh, chennai airport terminal buildings and <coughs> and this is constructed uh, using the analogic means this special 
uh, this special modeling is done in analogics and the each means each activity means uh, this special modeling for each activity means this is the checking zone and this is the security zone and this is for the this is the uh, means awaiting launch for the departuring so this uh, so this uh, special modeling in done using the uh, using the software analogic to depict the real condition of uh, uh, different activity like check-in security and others so this is the flow algorithm uh, flow algorithms which is set for the easy um, means for the agent movement now here the agent is passengers <laughs> agent movements and uh, the the broadly mean description of this flow diagram this is the means pad source where the passengers is coming on the, uh, the and this is the schedule schedule block which is used to means how much uh, means how uh, uh, this uh, means how uh, from means how much rate this passenger is coming means arriving at a entry gate and this this is a uh, uh, waiting block means for a particular zone how much a passenger have to wait and further this rectangle uh, show means taking the decision this uh, taking the this decision means for a particular class of the passenger where uh, which where uh, check in counter a passenger have to go and this is further going on for security and this is for the same means this is for the uh, arrival process and this is same like we, we discuss in departure process uh, the only difference here is uh, this uh, for the level change passengers use either escalator and or either stair this only difference here and this pad area descriptor which is blow uh, blow this flow diagram uh, is used for <coughs> calculating or for uh, means for taking the record of density or taking the record of how much time a passenger is spent in, in particular zone this is the flow map means this is the density map of uh, uh, for the uh, departure and arrival pro uh, arrival <coughs> operations and the red color show means here the higher density of <coughs> density means 1.5 percent um, percent per meter square are available, available and blue color show there is a no passenger available at that time so now come to the uh, means specific problem means level of service assessment so what we did we take a sample a special uh, uh, what we did, we take a sample a special layout of check-in zone of air, uh, Chennai Airport Terminal Building and we divide this, uh, this check-in into six parts on the basis of their airline means, and name is uh, check-in counter one, check-in counter two, two check-in counter six. This is, uh, the, means this is the visual representation of how a passenger interact with uh, this this check-in counter means first the passenger have to arrive at a particular rate and then he spend some means uh, on the basis of their speed how much time they take to uh, from uh, to reach from entry to the check-in counter and further they have to take the decision the uh, decision means in which counter they have to get, uh, go and if there is any queuing process available, then they, uh, they have to engage with that queuing. And otherwise, uh, he collect their boarding pass uh, on their service time. So before introducing the agent, agent into the models, these are the property which uh, we already uh, install in, in each, each, each <coughs> agent, their walking speed, and their waiting time is in which zone they have to wait or how much they have to wait, wait and their walking times a decision variables like flight number class means they are belonging to business class or economical class <coughs> and this is the means this is the means uh, this is the property uh, property of a uh, pad uh, and this is the property chart of agent in which all information here we are uh, uh, we are giving this not visible 
means for this uh, entry rate we directly import this entry rate to to uh, to the agents and other feature like also means their speed and their size and from where they have to enter and f uh, where they have to exit and this is the been field study done in uh, chennai airport so this is the probability distribution and their parameters corresponding to them so now we are only here discuss only the entry gate check in counter only <coughs> and this is this is uh, this for this is further again uh, reaching to the check in counter how passengers uh, how passenger go to their uh, corresponding uh, check in point so this can be achieved by the probability distribution means either we can give that ke 60% or 40% of the passenger uh, have to go to check in uh, counter 1 and uh, remaining go to check in counter 3 and like that or we uh, uh, we uh, also give means we uh, a passenger also choose uh, their check corresponding check in counter on the basis of preset condition means on the basis of airline they also can choose means where which uh, check in counter they have to <coughs> work this is the special modeling of that zone this uh, blue color represent the means serpentine queuing these green points are representing the check in counter and uh, this is the property of this special modeling means this uh, we can uh, in any instant of time during the modeling we can change this uh, number of <coughs> means number of check in counter and this are corresponding to that uh, corresponding to th uh, that special modeling uh, th this special modeling also linked by stochastic modeling this is this is stochastic modeling means pad service one pad service two this is uh, stochastic modeling and and on the basis of field study we give uh, the uh, we give the passenger that how much time they have to uh, take to complete the particular activity so that distribution follow the variable distribution uh, means minimum 2.02 minute a passenger take to complete the uh, uh, means uh, sir, uh, uh, to complete that activity check in and activity so we made three uh, uh, so this is the base case means this is the actual scenario of level of service this is the actual scenario of uh, uh, check in counter of uh, chennai airport terminal building where the process time f um, we follow the variable distribution or these are the parameter and number of counter is 26 therefore uh, completion their check in uh, uh, <coughs> check in activity so if we if we just uh, decreasing uh, keeping the uh, constant of process time and just decreasing the number of count, uh, count counters we are go to the level of service e and if we are just keeping the number of counter same and just decreasing the process time then ultimately we are going to level of service a so this scenario is model and this is the density map for the level of service e uh, in this case means in level of service c e e the means multiples counter are operating at the same time this also means create a problem of air quality means lot of the pupils a lot of the people uh, uh, may breathe at the same time or and emit co2 so this is also affect the comfort means com comfort uh, comfortness of the passenger and in case of the level of service e uh, only three consecutive counter is working at the same times and in case of level of service a there is means uh, two are operating on the same time but the queuing line is uh, means uh, relatively less so this is the means density profile in case of level of service e means uh, the, the overlapping is more and there is a global peak but in level of service c there is a no global peak uh, there is no and overlapping also reduce and uh, in case of level of service a 
the overlapping is almost reduced and there is no global peak and uh, the peak means the maximum passenger count is reached only to 80 this is the means a stack plot of for level of service e and c means this follow the global maximum and um, <coughs> maximum passenger this is not visible but uh, this ma maximum passenger count is go goes to more than 450 and is in case of level of service e it goes to 275 only and in case of level of service a it is reached to 150 only and finally this is means this is the dual time distribution plot means for level of service a most of the passengers spend only means a lesser than 15 minute uh, for completing the check in entry check in activity and <coughs> and for level of service c it's take means most of the passenger take 30 minute only to complete the activity and this is for level of service c thank you if you have any questions Yes, yes. But uh, did you consider that it can actually, these parameters can change? Uh, yes. Based on the rush hours and based on the non rush hours, did yes, you yes. try to bucket the timing into different sections, then try to do the analysis, or it was just uniformly that you choose over the entire field study? No, no during the field study, means I consider this uh, peak flow and uh, off peak flow. Means I uh, during the study I consider this. Means during the sampling means data collection time I I consider this this. Thing. Okay, fine. And the other question probably it's, it's just uh, probably it's my mistake. Uh, the thing is that you showed those uh, surfing times for the counters. Is it counter A, counter B, counter yeah, yeah, yeah. all these counters, right? Yeah. Uh, I have a question, why the distribution should be different from counter to counter if you feed if you are fitting in same parameters into it? It should show the uniformly same distribution, right? No, 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 no. Actually, uh, means the entry arrival rate means uh, uh, this check-in counter one, two, three, four, five, six. It is based on the airlines, and the uh, number of passengers for using uh, a airlines is different. So this is uh, in some of the cases this is up, and some of the cases this is down. Okay, so the counters are based on the type of the airlines. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fine. Thanks. Thank you.